Manchester City's rise has been nothing short of spectacular. From being relatively unknown and overshadowed by their neighbors, Manchester United City has emerged as a force to be reckoned with, and their relentless pursuit of excellence has led to a stunning era of dominance in the English Premier League. But it begs the question, how did they get here? Welcome to a new chapter of The Football Historian. Like, subscribe, and let's enjoy another story of the beautiful game. Founded in 1880 as St. Mark's West Gordon, they embraced the name Manchester City in 1894, and not long after, in 1899, City celebrated their first triumph by winning the second division, earning promotion to the prestigious first division. Their first major honor, the FA Cup, was secured in 1904. However, financial controversies plagued the club, leading to the suspension of 17 players in 1906. Despite setbacks, City persevered and reached two consecutive FA Cup finals in the 1930s. Although they fell short against Everton in 1933, they won in 1934. In 1937, they also clinched their first ever first division title, but were relegated the following season despite their prolific scoring. The club's fortune improved in the 1950s and 1960s. The late 1960s and 70s witnessed City's most successful period, including a league championship win in 1968, as well as FA Cup, European Cup Winners' Cup, and League Cup triumphs. Unfortunately, a period of decline followed in the 1980s, with two relegations from the top flight. Despite becoming a co-founder of the Premier League in 1992, City struggled and was relegated in 1996. Their struggles continued in the following years, culminating in a historic low when they dropped to the third tier league. However, the club experienced a remarkable turnaround, achieving back-to-back -back promotions and ultimately returning to the top division in 2002. In 2003 to four, the club moved to their new state-of-the-art city of Manchester Stadium now known as the Etihad Stadium. Their early years at the stadium saw at best modest mintable finishes. By 2008, Manchester City found themselves in a financially precarious position. Thaksin Shinawatra had taken control of the club the year before, but his political travails led to his assets being frozen. However, out of these dire straits emerged a memorable takeover that forever changed the football landscape. In August 2008, City was purchased by the Abu Dhabi United Group, and they wasted no time in making good on their promises. Under manager Mark Hughes at the time, City embarked on an unprecedented spending spree as a staggering £270 million was invested in players such as Gareth Barry, Roquez Santa Cruz, Colo Toure, Emmanuel Adebayor, Carlos Tevez, and Julian Lescott. Despite the influx of money, the team's performance did not witness a significant improvement. In December 2009, Mark Hughes was replaced by Roberto Mancini, marking the beginning of one of the most exciting and successful periods in the club's history. The Italian manager swiftly strengthened City, making them a formidable first, finishing fifth only marginally higher than before Mancini's arrival, but was nonetheless indicative of the positive changes taking place within the team. Building on their progress, the following season proved to be even more remarkable. City made more top signings, bringing in players like Yaya Toure, David Silva, Jerome Boateng, James Milner, and Alexander Kolarov. And surprisingly, the team's results began to mirror the improved quality of their players as they achieved a historic milestone by qualifying to the Champions League for the first time. They also clinched the FA Cup, their first major trophy in 35 years. In the summer, City secured the services of Sergio Aguero for £38 million, along with the acquisitions of Samir Nasri and Gil Klitschy. The team hit the ground running at the start of the season winning 12 out of their first 14 games in all competitions including a memorable 6-1 victory over their city rivals, Manchester United, at Old Trafford. However, 
their strong firm began to waver halfway through the season, and City found themselves eight points behind United with only six games remaining. It seemed like the title race was over, but something extraordinary unfolded. City rallied and won their final six matches, including a crucial 1-0 victory over United that set the stage for a thrilling finale to the season, with both teams level on points going into the last match day. Against QPR on the final match day, City fell behind 1-2 by the tail end of regular time, causing some of United's players and fans to celebrate as if they had already secured the league. However, in a dramatic turn of events, to goals and injury time, the second scored by Sergio Aguero in the fourth additional minute, led to an almost cinematic 3-2 victory. The win secured City's first title in 44 years, with goal difference being the decisive factor, making Aguero's winner the most iconic moment in Premier League history. The season following their glorious title win was considered a failure in the Etihad boardroom as City finished second, prompting the club to sack Mancini. In the summer, they brought in Manuel Pellegrini as his replacement. In his first season, City achieved success by winning the League Cup and clinching the Premier League title on the last match day. However, their league firm dipped in the subsequent years, and the 2015-16 campaign saw them finish fourth on goal difference, their lowest position since 2010. So Pellegrini's reign came to an end in anticipation of City's dream manager, Pep Guardiola. Guardiola, the most sought after and highly regarded coach in the game, took over and under his leadership, City experienced incredible achievements. They won the 2017-18 Premier League title and League Cup, breaking numerous club and English league records along the way. Continuing their dominance, the club retained both their Premier League and League Cup titles in the following season and went on to win the FA Cup final as well, completing an unprecedented domestic treble of English men's titles. While they lost the 2019-2020 title to Liverpool, Manchester City made a remarkable comeback in the 20-21 Premier League season. They regained their title, becoming champions for the third time in four years finishing 12 points ahead of second-placed Manchester United, while also securing the League Cup for a record equaling fourth consecutive time. Although they reached their first ever Champions League final, it ended in disappointment as they lost to Chelsea in an all-English affair. City continued their winning streak in the 2021-22 campaign, successfully retaining their league title. But yet, it was another closely contested battle with Liverpool. In a classic City fashion, they needed three points in their last game against Aston Villa. However, the citizens fell behind by two goals at home. Yet, in a stunning turn of events, they mounted an incredible comeback, scoring three goals in a five-minute blitz between the 76th and 81st minutes, giving them a remarkable 3-2 home victory that secured them the title ahead of Liverpool. In the 2022-23 season, City secured their fifth title in six years, finishing above Arsenal in a thrilling Premier League season making it City's third consecutive title, matching their rivals United as the only other team to achieve such a feat. However, what sets this title apart is City's incredible juggling act of clinching the FA Cup and reaching the Champions League final. If all goes as Guardiola planned, City could become the second team in English football history, following United in 1998-99 to win the treble. Today, after spending 1.45 billion euros since 2008, Manchester City is virtually unrecognizable from its former self, with a playing staff that surpasses all expectations. Their training facilities, media operations, and overall infrastructure are light years ahead of what was once in place. And when all is said and done, this Manchester City era will be regarded as the greatest team era in the history of the Premier League. And maybe even football. Tell us in the comments who is your favorite Manchester City player. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.